the text tool in Photoshop is right here. It's everything you expect and less. Um, it's actually not very good, uh, at least not in CS2. If I click on 72 point, this is probably going to be too small, but I'm going to click somewhere and I'm, oopsie, caps lock, let's try again. And I'm going to type. And I click the move tool. When I'm finished, um, there's some shortcut for uh, selecting it when you're finished, but I just I click on the move tool so I can drag it around. It's been created on its own layer, and this always happens um, with the text tool. Uh, so I, I grab the text tool afterwards, and because this layer is selected but no text is selected, any changes I make up here will affect everything. If I ac accidentally click and I've got my blinker going, I would actually have to select everything like this before any of any changes on my uh, on my toolbar here would make would make a difference. Um, so let's click on the move tool, click again on my text, click on the text, and scrub up the text size by clicking and dragging. And you have to let go before it refreshes. And you can see now I've got much bigger text to move it. I actually usually hit V and T. V for move, click and drag, T to bring back to the text tool, maybe change how well it's anti-aliased. Smooth um, is going to be blurry if I view it full size like this. Um, and none is uh, v blurry meaning anti-aliased. Um, it looks blurry from a distance. None meaning no anti-aliasing at all. This is exactly what the font looks like um, without any anti-aliasing. So you really can't do very much with the text tool. I'm going to get rid of this one and I'm actually going to show you the type mask tool. Um, it creates a mask which is exactly the same as the selection so I'm going to just click somewhere, and I'm going to type again. You can hit enter and make new uh, things. Once I click on the move tool, though, it's, cr it's turned it into a selection, and if I go back to the text tool, it won't let me select it. So this is a very limited tool. Also, if I go to move and I click over top of it, it wants me to cut it out immediately. If I click on the marquee, t marquee tool, It'll let me move around my selection, just like it did with my other tools. But the moment I'm done with it, I've got to actually cut it out. A really nice shortcut is Control J. That makes a new layer with this selection only. Uh, I think select um, layer new via copy. So now if I hide the background layer, you can see I've actually got my image only where I had text. And if I erase the top layer, nothing happens because it's just that um, it's a copy, not a cut.